Greetings everyone, the Good Tonight here, and today we'll be doing our review of the Tokyo Marui M870 Tactical. Now, as some of you may know, I've done the review of the Breacher not all that long ago. It was short and without a stock, but this is going to feature most of the same principles, but with far more items. Now, the key issue that you're probably going to have with this shotgun is it's a big gun. This is a very, very long gun I'm sitting down now. It's as tall as me sitting. So, very big gun, nice and long. And the gas tank sits in the rear here. Now, if you squeeze the sides here, you can pop off the rubber buttstock. And there is the gas tank, chilling inside. And there's that little tab up here on the top, the little gray tab. You press that, and it will release the gas, uh, the gas tank, so you can access the all the gas and refill that and make sure everything's working. So, there's a few more upgrades I have going for this. This only has one upgrade at the moment, and that is the shell caddy on the side here. Well, two upgrades. It's got the sling, uh, sling mounts that you can buy online for like 10 bucks a pair. So, little sling mounts. I've got a little simple thumb loop sling here so I can loosen it and carry it that way. And I can also tighten it up so it's nice and out of the way when not in need. So I can swap to a handgun pretty easily and also get it nice and tight and out of the way so I can still pump it. So, the shotgun, it's nice. It does your little shotgun things. Now, what this also has that the breacher doesn't have is it's got this rear sight aperture and a front sight post. The front sight post also has a little white dot on it to help you with aiming. And this does aim quite naturally. As soon as you get it up, yep, it'll pretty much almost align instantly. It comes very naturally. The stock and everything helps it align very well. This is a very popular, the M87 or M870. This is a very popular shotgun all in all. So we have our target set up here. Today it is Mr. Uh, GM from uh, Gundam. So, in the name of Xeon, we're going to blast him in the face a few times. This pump's really easy. The shell catches up here, which also has one of the sling mounts. They do make a bunch of upgrades. So one, you can magpul this thing entirely if you so desire. Or you can uh, add the shell caddy. I've got a, um, a nice little buttstock attachment here that'll actually hold six shells on the back end over here. So I can carry all of my shells on the shotgun and not require any additional chest rig or anything. So. That's cool with shotguns. There's a mini rail attachment I could put up here so I could move the sling to a detachable swivel sling mount up here and place the flashlight on the right side so that I can actually still flashlight and everything, pump and blast and all that good stuff. I'd also like to get the little attachment to make the barrel the same size as the magazine because I just like the way it looks aesthetically. So right now it's set to six shot per pump and we're going to be doing just that. So. Your magazine releases on the side here. Take a shell, any shell, load it with 30 BBs. Slide that on in there. Close that. Safety off. And pump. So we're ready to do some damage. Let's go ahead and blast Mr. Jim here, shall we? So line it up. All right. We do not have a lot of gas in the shotgun right now. So we're missing a lot of power. Yeah, so with six shots, we burned through all of our ammo incredibly quickly. We didn't get all the power we needed, but that's our shot. So you do see this feed all the rounds. And I do need to regas this thing because this magazine's a little fickle, but it's more or less how it works. It has a very nice spread the farther out it gets, so you're not going to miss any of your Overwatch shots or any of your other shots. But however, due to its length, you are actually going to struggle with this indoors. You can stubby it up a bit at the cost of all the kick that you'd have with a real shotgun, swap hands pretty quick, effectively. But yeah, all in all, great shotgun. Incredibly long, but manageable if you know what you're doing. So you're probably going to want to have a decent handgun to go with this. And if you can tactical sling it, then you can make it a lot easier, get it out of the way, and use the handgun. Right now as it's set up, if anything goes wrong, handgun has to be one-handed. And if the shotgun goes down, like it's doing now without any gas, you can just pull the sling free and sling that over your back real quick so you can access your handgun and do handgun things effectively. So, all in all, one of the best shotguns known to man, personal favorite of the Good Sir Knight, who is a man who enjoys himself a good boomstick. So, that's the review I got for you guys here today on this lovely, lovely shotgun. So, I hope you enjoy that, and um, yeah, I'd recommend getting it. Now, getting it over the Breacher, 
It comes down to what you really want to do. If you're going to be fighting really close quarters, you need that angle space, but you don't care so much about the long distance accuracy. Without a stock, the gun becomes incredibly, you have two points of control, so it becomes a lot less steady. With a stock, you're going to get those longer shots aimed in a lot better and faster, but your close quarters capability is going to require some clever thinking and unique maneuverability on your part. So. That's what I got here. I'll probably use this in a game or two. I do have my grenades now and they're working fantastic, so I've been blasting people with those. Although you can never go wrong with a good shotgun. And since it's gas, in the event it rains, you'll still be able to keep playing. Although, there's going to be rain, so whether or not you'll have an opponent, that's a story for another time. So that's the review of my MA70 Tactical. Absolutely beautiful shotgun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, everyone.